these two cubs that were recently born, Bandar and Sukachita, are representatives of something great. They're representatives that, that we're actually doing things well within zoos. We're able to, to keep the species breeding, keep it viable. Uh, my name is Craig Sappho, and I'm the curator of great cats at the National Zoo. Our goals are to make sure that they're healthy and help mom in any way that we can in her efforts to raise them and keep them nice and healthy, and then we will send them off to other zoos once that natural separation happens. And that usually happens with tigers around somewhere around a year, between a year and two years. Cubs and adults behave differently uh, than one another. The cubs are very playful. They love to play. You can find them chasing each other's tails around. They jump on mom and bat her in the face. and They just, they want to play and they want to experience life. Um, the adults seem to be more vigilant, more, more focused on the immediate task at hand, and the immediate task at hand is survival. So you'll find that the adults are more serious and more stoic, and the cubs are more playful. Looking at these three-month-old cubs and watching them wrestle, they're doing things and biting at each other in ways that would hurt us if they were to do that to us, even at three months old. So they're kind of toughening each other up in their playing around. You'll also start to see them if you watch very closely. When they walk behind mom and they're kind of batting at her tail, which you'll see quite frequently, they'll, they'll bat at her tail, her hind legs. They're, maybe they're kind of learning how to hunt. And you'll see mom doing the same thing to them. She'll walk behind them and kind of swat at them. And some people think that that's mom disciplining or being cruel, and she'll knock them off their feet without any hesitation. And that's a way of teaching. It's no different than you or me telling our children not to do something or no, do it this way. But she can't tell them that. She has to show them. And so her batting them around is probably a way of her teaching them. It's really incredible to be able to come into work and never have a bad day because no matter how bad my day has been, if I go back there and I sit with tigers or lions and I can just watch them, even when they're doing nothing but sleeping, it's, it's relaxing. It's, um, it's, it's one of those feelings that, that you, you find it difficult to describe. You also end up with the overwhelming feeling that you're actually doing something to make a difference. We're keeping these animals under human care, not just to display them to the masses, but to try to help people feel some of those same feelings that we feel towards those animals and fall in love with them. And if we can do that, then we can inspire people to want to help conserve them. And that makes you feel like you are really doing something to help the natural world around you.